welcome to visit Startup Series again. I'm not too late. I'm continue to share Hong Kong Tech 300 program to you. Today is the talk about the Unit 11 research. In the startup, they are separated into two types of research. One is market research, another is a competitive research. In this unit, you need to have to demonstrate some example and also the exercise. Market research, there are a few parameters uh, you need to know and use to measure the potential of your target market. For example, the total available market, total market demand for the product and service. Second is a serverable available market, it's a segment of the total available market targeted by your product and service, which is within your geographical reach. Last one is a serverable or tenable market. It's the portion of SAM that you believe you are able to capture. It. And the second uh, research is a competitive analysis. It can help you understand your unique proposition, why your customer should buy from you instead of your competitor. There are some uh, questions to help you shrug your market message. For example, you need to ask or consider who are your competitors? How are you different from your competitors? How will you outperform your competitors? What is your barrier to uh, entry and how long will it last for? And how are your competitors reaching out to your potential customer? Now, it is an example of Airbnb market research. They found that the total arable market is 1.9 billion, very large, and that serverable arable market is 332 billion. And share of a market or serverable or tenable market uh, is 10.5 million. So now, um, in this you really conclude that you have answered to before meeting with your investor or even uh, pursue the opportunity. So market research is important and you need to uh, many many accelerator or, or like this incubator will ask all these questions to you before they submit the application to go ahead. Now, in the exercise, you have the two parts. First, uh, market research, you need to ask yourself what is your TAM, SAM, and SOM. And then, another five questions is asked for your competitor landscape. This is my example for the broad game, and focus on the school, primary and second school, and high school. And also, um, have some assumption is that each school have the five cars, will learn the step and STEM, and each class will use the four program, and each program cost fifty uh, US dollar. So, from the world, the whole education uh, value is a sixteen five billion is large from the world from the newspaper, and. You count the number of the school in China. So the surfable area market in China geographically is 227 mi uh, million. However, in Hong Kong, it's much smaller. It's a 455 uh, primary and 392 uh, secondary school and about 815,000. It is uh, our study TAM, SAM, and SOM. And then this trial is demonstrate the competitor analysis. Uh, we would like to enhance our positioning of extended further uh, program gamification to enhance our uh, structural learning level and also the learning adaptation level. So let us review the five questions. The first, who are your competitors? Maybe other innovation training company 
or consultants, also AI or STEM or other education institute, and Design Finger or other uh, STEM related program. Um, how are you different from your competitor? Because this innovation theory is unique. Extended is a China original new discipline under CAAI and using gamification for innovation theory training have not yet happened in Hong Kong and mainland China. And third is how will you outperform your competitor? I think the training period is much reduced and concept adaptation is much easier than workshop. Using board game to demonstrate the innovation idea generation and the new product development is an advantage of this approach. The last two questions are what is the barrier to entry and how long will it last for? For the recognition and qualification of trainer, because uh, we have the unit. Uh, if you would like to uh, get it, it go to elite to attend the workshop in Guangzhou and also examination is uh, uh, difficult. One, of the barrier would be the teacher level on extending our program as that our members haven't uh, qualified uh, certification of extenders. We have to take some time to figure out how to insert this idea into the product. So maybe uh, we are possibly one or two years uh, for us to enter the market. How are your competitor reach out to your potential customer? Maybe our network and social media about the education field. So uh, it is introduced uh, market research and competitive research. Thank you for your attention. See you in next unit. Bye bye.